Hello, welcome to The Wild Review on The Wild Review, and today I'm going to review a thing. Now, I'm going to say this in the most nicest way I can. Uh, I'd first like to start off with saying that everything in this video is my opinion, so don't think it's a fact, it's a, my opinion. I am allowed to have my opinion on my own review show. So, this is my opinion. I don't like Apple. I don't. I, I don't like the company. Well, I don't like them. I, I, I don't like Apple. Now, I told my friend that I don't like Apple, and he kind of took it the wrong way. So, this is what I don't mean by I do not like Apple. First off, I don't hate Apple. Um, I, can, I can never really hate something that, yes, is kind of helping my life. Not my life, but kind of my career in a way. I, I can't say I hate it because it's also going a little too far, you know. They aggravate me, but I don't hate them. I just don't like them. Or it, however you want to take it. Th th this is what I don't mean. I don't mean, like, the products itself I have really no problem with. Like, some products I do, some problems I don't. Uh, there are products I don't hate or uh, I do like. I think the laptops are cool, some of the phones are okay, I even like the iPods and iPod Touches, those are pretty cool. Also what can come to mind is the people that work at Apple, and I have nothing against them, they are just doing their job, and sometimes I have to go to them to, for help because that is what they're there for. People that work at the mall, at the Genius Bar, they are there to help me, and that is their job, and I have nothing bad to say about that, it's a job, it's, you need a job, and that is a job, so I have nothing against the people that work at Apple, nor do I have anything against the people that physically work at the Apple company, besides just the stores, and I also have nothing against Steve Jobs, um, because that's also another thing my friend thought what I meant by I do not like Apple, because Steve Jobs is kind of the creator of it all, so, yeah, I have nothing against Steve Jobs, though it will, it is kind of irritating me on how some people are considering him God. I don't know. So what exactly do I mean by I do not like Apple? What about Apple do I not like then? I don't like the way they do business. Let's put it that way. I don't like the way that Apple handles most of their products. And I also don't like how Apple constantly keeps on updating. Is there something wrong with updating? I think so, because I'm so used to so many things that once it's updated, I feel like I have to learn it over again. Apple constantly is updating, almost like t every two months or whatever, and yeah, they don't take that long to update, you know, whatever's being updated, but I mean, like, sometimes it's not worthy being updated. Just last week, we got a new update on about new emojis. Like, what, what am I going to be using these emojis? I would think these are offensive. But I don't like on how Apple just doesn't handle their products in the way that they're supposed to. Mostly since they're not even around for almost a decade. They are around for one to two years and then they're obsolete. You can't do anything with them. Let's say if you have a problem with, I don't know, an iPod third generation, if anybody knows what that is, and you call Apple for help, they're not really going to know anything about it because they're not intelligent on that stuff anymore. It's as if they're literally getting rid of the knowledge that they know about their old products and just throwing it out. I like to think that their motto is out with the old and with the new. Once they have a new product, they automatically get rid of the old product. Look how fast the iPhone 5S left. I mean, I'm sure they still sell it. I mean, like, hell, when I walk into the Apple store in the mall, I see a whole bunch of old iPods, which is great, but I doubt anybody knows how to use it now since we have all this new technology. The best way you can compare it to is a little child feeling left out when his new brother or sister is born. The parents are mostly focusing on the new child instead of the old child. What also infuriates me about Apple is that they don't give you that much memory, which is kind of the point seeing on how they want you to constantly buy their products. And it's not like you can do anything about it. Yeah, there are hard drives for it, but it's just that you can't add any memory. They're not going to give you any memory. 
And from what I understand, if you get anybody to put any other memory on your phone or computer, Apple's not even going to touch it. I doubt that's true, but I've heard it a lot. But now let's talk about the main thing that I've been wanting to talk about for a while now, ever since I heard about it. The Apple Watch. What? I understand Apple is very, very, very popular almost all around the world. Their products are known everywhere, but I mean, why a watch? Apple is more of the computer phone thing. You don't need a watch. I understand we're trying to physically get into the future by all this technology, but I, I don't think a watch is a good idea. Because honestly, if you think about it, it's not really a watch. Oh, but what do you mean by that? It says it's a watch. In fact, it looks like a watch. Yes, I understand that. However, let, let, let's just compare the Apple Watch to a regular watch, all right? Let's just do that. Uh, all right. So this is my watch. Uh, it's a, it's a G-Shock. Yeah, I'm having a hard time showing it. Uh, yeah, it's a G-Shock watch. I got it about, like, I think a year ago, two years ago. I've had it for a while. Um... Yeah, about two years. Uh, now, a, a typical watch. This is what a typical watch is. It's, um, obviously, like you can see it, it it's, uh, well, first off, if you don't know what a watch is, which I don't know, what, you must be living in a cave, a watch is like a miniature clock that you could wear on your wrist. It's, it's that simple. Uh, it's also known as a wrist watch, but lots of people like calling it watches. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, so a watch, typically, this thing. Uh, you could either have it digitally or you could just have it with like the two arrows, um, you know, the, the two hands and the numbers, the circle thing. You could have it either way. Uh, I have a digital watch. This is digital. Uh, the basic, the, the whole idea of a watch is just to tell time. Uh, you have your own personal clock on your wrist and that is fine. So it'll mostly have the time, you know, what hour it is, you know, the minutes, seconds. Uh, it will also probably have, you know, the date, you know, like what day it is, what month it is, and what day it is. And that's fine. Maybe even the year, that is fine. Because in a way, if you think about it, the day and the month and the year, that all has to do with time. So anything that has to do with time is fine on a watch. Apple, however has a different idea. Let, let's, let's analyze Apple's watch. Alright, well, uh, as we can see with all these apps on the, the watch, uh, it seems that you could send some text messages, alright. Uh, it seems that you can make phone calls, so this way when you lose your phone, you can just make a phone call right there. Uh, you can test your heart rate because, um, you know, you need to. Uh, you can have this weird face stalk you. I mean, <laughs> oh, is that is that scaryish? It's it's got a weather app, so when you're inside, too lazy to look out the window or turn on the TV for, uh, to check the weather channel or go on the internet and see what the weather is going to be like, you know, you can just look on your watch right there. Uh, you can apparently take photos, I guess, with the camera that is secretly hidden, I guess. Uh, you can even look at your photos uh, on that little one-inch screen. Uh, it's got a little charger, you know, a little clever charger thing. Uh, you also have a plug for that charger, that little thing on the bottom, because, you know, it's an Apple product. It, it has to be charged. You probably have to charge it almost every night. It's got a ladybug app, so this way you can detect where all the ladybugs are. At least that's what this icon of the app is trying to tell us. Uh, you could watch this rainbow thing happen. Uh, you could draw on it, which is, I guess, you know, because you gotta draw stuff on that little screen. Uh, there's a calendar, so this way if you forget what day it is, you can just look on your watch and, uh, oh, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's got a clock too, I mean, you know, cause it is a watch after all, so it needs a clock. <laughs> this isn't a watch, Apple. It's, it's not, alright? This is... In my opinion, it's not a watch. You don't need all that stuff. The weather has absolutely nothing to do with the time. No, none of this has to do with time. Now granted, I do admit that maybe talking on the watch is pretty cool. I've kind of 
I've always thought that was cool. However, I imagined it a little different. Like, I, I imagined something like this, you know, but maybe it was a toy. Maybe if it was a toy watch and maybe instead of a phone itself, it could be like, it could have a walkie-talkie inside of it and you just go up to your friend who would have the same watch, I guess. Like, it, it, you, you need to have the same watch, obviously, but it would connect and you could talk to each other from maybe like 10 feet away as like a toy walkie-talkie slash watch. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, the phone part is pretty cool, but other than that, you don't need any of other of that stuff. You don't need any of that. I'm just flabbling. It's basically as if you just took your phone and really, really squeezed it into a watch. That's basically what the Apple Watch is. Because all Apple products are kind of the same. You have to have all these apps for God knows why. Am I impressed with the Apple Watch? Mm, I mean, it shows how far our society has come down, but I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I mean, what, why was this even made? I don't know why the Apple Watch had to be made in the first place. What about the Apple Watch? Why was the Apple Watch made? Can I be an assistant? What, what could you know about the Apple Watch? I know facts that you don't even know. Ugh. Everybody, this is Marty, my next door neighbor. He's the kind of neighbor that is a little creepy sometimes. I think he watches me while I sleep, I don't know. So, uh, what, are, what are these facts that you know about the Apple Watch? Well, I mean, ah! Sorry. Well, did you know that the uh, Apple Watch wasn't the first smartwatch? No, I, I, I kind of didn't. It's not. Apple wasn't the first to make the watch. It was in 1999 when Samsung launched the world's first watch phone. The SPH WP10. That's in later years, in 2013, Samsung released it the Samsung Gear. So, really, it was Samsung that was the first company ever to have a smart watch that is a phone type. So, really, Samsung was the first company, not Apple. And I think Apple is just, you know, competing with Samsung, like the phones, like Samsung Galaxy and the iPhone. But really, if we go further into the information, Samsung wasn't really the first current smartwatch. It, because the current smartwatch was the Pebble watch, which was released April 11, 2012, making the Samsung Gear come in second. So after analyzing all these things, would I recommend anybody to buy the Apple Watch if I told them to buy it. No, I wouldn't. I would I would go up to them and I'd be like, don't buy the Apple Watch. But then again, I can't do that because, you know, I'm not that kind of person. If you if you're watching this and you want to buy an Apple Watch, I'm not going to stop you from doing it. It's what you want to do. I'm just here giving my opinion on it and I don't see there being a reason why it needs to even be a thing in a way, you know? So if you want to buy an Apple Watch, you do that. Uh, I will not penalize you. I will not come to your room and kill you. I won't do anything. Uh, I won't take it and smash it. I promise you I won't, but I wouldn't buy it. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't spend my money on that. I, I would not buy an Apple Watch. I'm saying it. I, I don't want an Apple Watch. I wouldn't buy it. If somebody gave it to me, I would probably... I'd probably give it to somebody else. I don't want an Apple Watch. And there are a few reasons why I'm not going to buy the Apple Watch. For starters, I'm not going to pay about $350 for something that's going to be obsolete in the matter of one or two years. I said it before, but the Apple Watch won't be around for long. No Apple product is around for that long. And even if they are, they're newer versions. I mean, for all we know, in the next three years, the Apple Watch could be on its like third generation or could be like at a 2.0 stage or whatever. It wouldn't be the same as the original. Another reason I wouldn't buy it is because it's the exact same thing as an iPhone. And to be honest, I don't feel comfortable having an Apple product on my skin. I've been hearing some bad things about if you talk on your Apple phone for a long time, it will give off some radiation. I heard somebody say that all this radiation coming from the Apple products are gonna give you cancer. 
Now, I haven't researched that. No, anybody that I've asked knows that for sure. So I'm not sure if that's true. But if it is, I'm not going to take any chances. Also, because, you know, I already have a phone. I don't need a watch that does almost the exact same thing. The last reason why I wouldn't buy an Apple Watch is because I kind of have to be careful around water with it. I looked it up before to see if it was waterproof or not, and I got it from a website called ZDNet.com. One of the questions that was asked was if the Apple Watch is waterproof, and the answer was, according to Apple, the Apple Watch is splash and water resistant, but not waterproof. You can, for example, wear and use Apple Watch during exercise, in the rain, and while washing your hands, but submerging Apple Watch is not recommended. Meaning that you can do the dishes and you can be in the rain with the Apple Watch. However, if somebody were to throw you in the pool, you'd kind of be in danger. It also says that the leather wristband that comes with the Apple Watch, the thing that's holding the Apple Watch onto your wrist, is not waterproof. So if that gets wet, you're kind of screwed. But, I mean, then again, it is my opinion. So, I don't know. I just don't like the Apple Watch, in my opinion. I don't think it's good. Even though it hasn't come out yet, I don't see it. I mean, like, I do see it working out. I do, seeing it, I do see it being a big success for some people, but I don't think it's going to last. You know, everybody's making a big thing about it, and it's not really that big if you think about it. I wouldn't buy it. But that's my opinion on the Apple Watch and Apple in general. I'm pretty sure you're sick of hearing my voice. Now I want to hear your voices, or at least see your comments. Do you like Apple? What's your opinion on Apple? What's your opinion on the Apple Watch? Do you plan on getting the Apple Watch? Do you agree or disagree with anything that I said in this video? Tell me in the comments and also leave me your suggestions for whatever movie, TV show, or anything you want me to discuss next. Thanks for watching The Wild Review. I'm The Wild Reviewer. And, you and I'm Marty, and you just saw us review something. Don't you have somewhere to be right now? Not anymore. <laughs>